there's a new feature in Photoshop 2021 that's, I'm always surprised that it's not already there. It wasn't there in 2020, 2019, etc. And you think, hmm, okay, so clearly you couldn't do that. But now there is a reset transformation feature, which is really useful. Smart objects can contain, obviously, filter effects, adjustments, multiple objects, all those sort of things, as well as transformations. Now I've got this, just quickly show you, go to the history. So get rid of that, history panel. And just go back to the original design. So you can see that, that's the original smart object. I've applied some transformations to it, warp, scale, rotations, whatever, distortions. Now how to get back from that? Well, you can do that now. So what you can do, you can go to layer, and you can go down to smart objects, and you can go down to reset transform. So it's reset. Now, of course, you think, well, I could undo and I could go all the way back. But of course, you might have done other work in between. So you don't want to do that. You just want to just reset that one. Well, now you can. Now, there is, I think, a bug here. Maybe it's just me, but just go to edit, undo reset transforms. To me, I would think that that would put it back to what it was before. Well, doesn't seem to. Do. So that's a bit odd. Now, that's not a big deal, but that's obviously clearly some slightly an issue. So you might have made a mistake and you suddenly think, oh, I want to go back. Well, that doesn't seem to work. So now I'm just going to bring back the, the snapshot again. So I've got the snapshot there. Maybe it's uh, just this session. I don't know, but I would have thought you'd be able to undo that, but clearly you can't. So you can also do, obviously it's got that one, layer smart objects. That's one with the reset transform. Also what you can do, you can go over to the layers panel and you can find that into in the window and down to layers. And you can right click and then go down and there's another reset transform. So you can get that back there. Again, if you go over here, you think again, you should be able to undo it. So you can't, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the snapshot again to bring it back. What you can also do, you can go to the there to that menu and go down to there, and there's reset transform there as well. So reset transform. So it's in a few places, as always with Photoshop, it's in a lot of different sections. Sometimes I always wonder why it's in lots of different places. Just easier just to have it in one place, but uh, they like to put it in four or five different places. And again, they're going to go to snapshot because again, if I go over here to Undo Reset Transform, doesn't seem to work. So snapshot, got that snapshot there. And there's one final place that I've found, maybe there's some more, because they tuck it somewhere else as well. Not possible. Properties, go over here, and there's Transform, and you notice a little option there. So I think Properties is a really good panel. Personally, that's where I would have the command, just this one. This is probably the quickest and easiest way. Simply click there, because then it just sets all the transform back again. Now you've got that. See, obviously there's some things you can set. You can just set that, you put that to zero. And you, but you, what else can you do? You could remove the warp, I suppose. You just go transform, warp, and you could reset it that way. But it, it's a lengthy process to do. It's just easy, just to click there. And that's that. How to reset transforms on smart objects in Photoshop. Really, really useful, great new feature of Photoshop 221. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop 2021, of course, and also hopefully 2022, 2023, and also when they come out. Illustrator, painter, creative cloud, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and many, many more. Also, any comments, please add some comments. Always, always appreciated what things I've done right, what, what else could I explain maybe better. That's always great to know. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.